Hello and welcome to this review for Transformers Rise of the Beasts, Beast Combiner, Bumblebee, and Snarl Saber. So if you're wondering, Snarl Saber and Bumblebee are the ones that are, I guess, more in the middle. Uh, they're, the, they're the more simpler toys, part of the Beast Alliance subline of the main line of the Rise of the Beasts uh, toy line. I'm just, it seems like I'm just spouting random words at the moment, which are strung one on top of the other. But yeah, that, that's how long names are these days and how you have to, you have like a subline of a subline. In any case, I wanted to show this review because there weren't many reviews of this toy online. And since it is one of the more pricier ones in the gimmick toys, I want to show exactly what it was all about if you were wondering about it before you spend some money. Also give an idea of the scale since the fact that there are simpler toys, the fact, uh, articulation, will not be able to give you the scale right off the bat. I'll just show you a Bumblebee, for example. I'll take a Snarl Saber on the side. See, he's he's much bigger than you think. Just seen alone, you would think this would be like a, a Legion-class toy, for example, because that that's, has the same transformation and articulation as one. However, compared to a Deluxe-class Bumblebee, they are, they are the same size. If you want a Deluxe from a Generations line, or in this case, this is Studio Series uh, 86 Jazz, here he is, so he's even like, he's just a tad taller than that. Of course, height is not everything, as you all know. But just to show you that uh, this is actually a bigger toy, and hence the, the bigger price point. So I'll just take this aside. At the same time, the size of his partner, Snarl Saber, which is a, uh, we'll call it, yeah, it's, it's, it's a black jaguar, similar to Ravage. Right. He's he's big too. So if this was like the luck size, he would he would be you know that type as well. This is him next to a Voyager class uh, Leo Prime, and so they are. I mean, they're, he's not too often size that they 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 would seem like they're beasts of a similar size. Like, well, you know, big cats of a similar size, almost proportional to each other, which is interesting in and of itself. Was just to show you that example. So I'll go through. This is how they come. In the package, that's a blur. We'll make sure it comes back. There you go. Uh, this is how they come uh, when you know the package like this. There are of course uh, three modes altogether. There is Bumblebee in his uh, Chevrolet Camaro mode. There's Bumblebee like this in robot mode, and a combination of the two together. Now about Bumblebee Chevrolet mode, even though I, I didn't see that that necktie emblem. Uh, it, it is, it seems to be, well, no, not it seems, it is. It's an officially licensed GM product. So it is an officially licensed Chevrolet, Chevrolet Camaro. So what I'll do first is I'll put him into his car mode and then we're gonna go to the combined. So I'm gonna take Snarl Saber again to the side and I'll show you how to transform him. If you're familiar with Legion class toys of Bumblebee, it's, this, it's the same transformation. So for example, here, we're gonna put the feet in And, you know, we're already uh, halfway there once we do that, right? Once we fold the feet onto each other, you close it up like this. And you can see exactly where it's going. So the chest part will go up. And so will the arms. It is tight, though. Everything's tight all around. There you go. That's it. Okay, now I'm going to... I just realized that to put it all back. Maybe I should have started with the combined, but it's okay, you'll see. Whoa, great. But you know, it being ball joints, it's made like that. It's made so that if there's any pressure applied, it will uh, pop off instead of breaking off. And that's actually part of the uh, standards for toys of this kind for kids. Things, yeah, things pop off before they break off. So no problem there. And yet you'll see something really weird. There is this like extra pressure on this ball joint that I don't have here. So I mean, the friction's fine. It's not, it's not floppy. This one just will... <laughs> it, it like recalls back. It's like there's this thing going on. You can place a different angle and then I'll bring it back. And yep, there you go. Yeah, weird stuff. Okay, so will be. Now, well, you'll notice, I think you saw when it was in car mode, he had these two uh, slots here, these two holes. That's where the beast armor component will be. And you see, he's got those there. 
Oh, yeah, before we get there, just to show you, if you're wondering what I, you got the idea of the articulation will be from the transformation, it's just a few ball joints, uh, nothing to write home about. There is a little bit of articulation in Snarl Saber, it's basically just the legs. So you've got the back legs and the front legs. The front legs are really loose though, so even if you position him like this, he will, there you see, he's gonna, uh, he's gonna fall, he's gonna go down a bit. Okay. Detail is removable for it to become an actual weapon. We'll do that now. That's part of the transformation. So that's the tail removed, and that's the weapon. Now, to transform him is very, very basic. You're going to take this top part, and you're going to bring it down. See, there's Bumblebee here. You can see the little cat, cat ear's face. Now we're going to put this onto him. Before we do that, I'm going to put the legs up side. And I'm going to remove the head. So the head, which has like a little can inside, you actually can remove it. There you go, stuff of nightmares. Ah, I don't know what kids are going to think with this. You know, but I mean, look, maybe, maybe they'll just have fun. I do find kind of, kind of grotesque or morbid that you do have to like remove the head of the animal. And it's going to be like used on him as a weapon later. I'll just put it aside. So we got this here, and then we got a... On top, there is a hole for the head, and like I said, uh, these parts will go into the holes. You know what? You would think it's easy, and yeah, I mean, it's fine. But I don't know, for, for a young kid, I guess six is fine, because that's, that's, uh, that's the advertised age. I have a five-year-old, I don't know if he'll be able to, to do that. But like I said, it requires just a bit, maybe a bit too much minutia or precision for younger kids. And now what you do is, as you fold this down, uh, you'll see there's spring here, so it's going to have this auto morph gimmick. And there he is combined. Now you add the extra stuff that we had. So we had the sword. And we had the head, the decapitated jaguar head. Which I guess has two points, so I, I usually do it here, right? That would make sense to me. But I believe... I see it popped off again. There you go. You can also put it aside. We'll do that for now. I'm gonna straighten this out. Here is your Beast Combiner Bumblebee. Like I said, it was cute little cat ears. Of course, he looks very, very top heavy, but he, he's fine. He will stand up just fine. Okay. And well, you, there's the, the head is actually like very, there's, there's it's, I don't know, you see, deep? Would that be the right word? Like, you see? It, you're surprised. See, from the front, like, that's the thing the pictures don't show. It looks almost like two dimensional and flat, but then when you look at it, it's like there's a lot of depth to the head. That surprised me. This is him. Now I'm gonna bring in a Voyager to show you how that looks like compared. I'm keeping it. There's a, a, a the Titcher jet from the Siege line, the Siege mold, at least. His won't be from before. I'm keeping it yellow, keeping it all nice and thematic. So he was about deluxe in height, and now he's in between when you put in the armor. That's all I wanted, really wanted to show you. I uh, hope this helped. You let me know what you think about it in the comments. And all the best, guys. Bye.